So now that we know how to add individual records to our database, we're going to look at how to add them in bulk. And what we can do is we can use an array of like objects like this, which have all these fields that the people schema has filled in like this. And we can convert this and use this to create a lot of models and write them to the database. So the way um, we do this is firstly, let's look at what's being tested here. So the the um, create many people thing right here is uses the create many people function. So we have to fill in this function for this to work. And this function takes in an array of people and then obviously the done function that it uses for the testing. And what we can do first is define array of people. And for this, you just need an array of objects that have the um, properties of the people schema that we created. So we have um, name, age, and favorite foods. So I have um, three objects here with different names, ages, and favorite foods. And then what I've just done is in this create many people function, this array of people has just gone into it, but it should be like this by default. Then the way you do create records with this is you do something, you do call a function called create on the model. And the model in our case is the person model that we created here. So we do person dot create like this. And inside of this, the first argument we give it is the array that we want to use. And again, the array has to be a set of objects like this of the correct schema types. So I'm just going to give it the array of people that we took in here. The second um, argument is a function that takes in, once again, it takes in an error and it takes in data. And in the last video, I kind of failed to specify what this data is. So this data is when it's been successfully written to the database, it returns this data that we can actually access easily. So in this case, what it will create is an array of people objects. So we can just call this data something like created peoples, created people or something like that. So this is the people that have been created. And then this is a function again. So we have a function. So this will try and create these models and save it to the database. And then it'll run this function that takes in an error and the created people if they were created. And if there was an error, um, once again, we want to make sure we just log that error. Add L, and then we'll put an else here so that this only runs if there's not an error. So this is null. Um, and we have this created people here. We want to call this done function to do the test to allow to do the test. So I'm just going to move this um, up here. So we're going to do done with null as the first argument once again because that's just the way they've done it. And the second argument is the actual um, created people that we got back. So once again, what we've done is we've called person.create, which takes in this array of objects that have properties for the schema, and it converts each of these into a person like we did um, up here, like we did here. And what this does then does is it tries to save these to the database. And if there's an error, it logs the error. Otherwise, it calls this done function, giving it the first argument of null, which is just the way it's been set up. And the second argument, which is the the a reference to the people that have been created. And then this test will gen, then like start looking through it and stuff. Um, so that should be everything really. So I'm gonna try um, submitting this now. It might take a few attempts again. Uh, let's try it. No, that's worked.